good. Now, what's next? Inner thigh. Hands and knees. I'm going to show this one from two different directions. First from the side, hands and knees, and then set one leg out to the side. Inner edge of my foot is on the floor. And now, actually that's probably a better angle, I want you to rock back and uh, forward and back, and you're going to feel the inner thigh muscles. They might feel a little tight. This has been a really helpful one for some people. Forward and back. I'm not doing the timer on this one. I want you to rock forward and back five to eight times. And then do a couple more. And then I want you to sit back, stay there. So that's where the deep stretch is. You can stay on your hands like this. You can go to your elbows whatever feels best or like you need the most, and sink into that opening up inner thigh, hips. So usually I rock five to eight times, and then I might sit in that for 20 to 30 seconds, and then we'll switch and do the other leg. Hands and knees, leg out to the side, inner edge of that foot is on the floor. Now, some people are really flexible in their hips and they can get really wide so they can push that foot out to the side and the other knee out to the other side. Figure out what you need and then rock forward and back about eight times. I've got two more. One more. And then I'm going to sit back. And for me, it feels good to go to my elbows. It's a little bit deeper, but it's easier on my arms as well. Really sink into that stretch hold here for at least 20 more seconds. And then I'm going to press up and out of this. 